Hey guys, it's Vivids and welcome back to another video and I'm just at the bank here and I um, just clicked on this clan cup thing. I don't really know what that is. I'm trying to get into my bank though and hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because I am and I'm going to tell you why in this video and a few other things and at the moment what I'm doing is I'm actually going to be clearing out my bank because I'm actually trying to clear it up a bit because I'm going to make a, um, a March progress video for 2014 and you know seeing as I'm nearly maxed what I'm actually going to be doing for you guys is, is clearing it out completely and, you know, making it really, 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 really nice and clean, um, you know, just, just to, uh, just to uh, show my appreciation for you guys and if you have any suggestions on uh, how you want me to set up my bank, please feel free to leave them in the description, in the description, no, in the comments below because I really, really am interested on what you guys like seeing in the bank, but what I've got planned for it is just like make a, um, it's basically just get all the junk and take it out of my bank and then set up the set up like my teleports tab, my runes tab, and then my main combat tab and always leave all my skill capes in the very, very first tab because I really, really do like um, looking back on my achievements of all of, of achieving all these ninety nines and um I'm nearly 99 divination, which is uh, which is awesome, and I'm actually going to be getting 99 divination within the next few days. But what I'm going to be doing for that is, I think I've mentioned this in another video, but I want to make a really really big compilation of me getting all my other 99s and then building up to this massive, uh, you know, this massive max cape sort of video thing. So I'm going to start working on that very very shortly and getting that. Uh, and working on that while I'm actually training divination. But on screen, you're actually going to be seeing me um, doing this live. I'm actually withdrawing the resources from my small smithing smithing crate because I'm just trying to get rid of all the all the squeal of fortune stuff from my bank and I can start buying other stuff and putting it in there and making my bank nice and tidy for you guys for my next bank video. But while we're uh, making this commentary I might as well inform you of what I've been up to lately. So the other day I actually went up to I think it was where was it? It was near Brisbane. It's like if you if you're a local from Australia, um if you've heard of Logan before, I kind of went up near there to one of my mates Griffith campuses because if you don't know, um, and I really, really doubt that any of you will, I'm not actually going to be starting university until the second semester and I'm not going to explain why. I did say in, my, in one of my other videos, I actually, you know, I'm actually at university and stuff, but I've actually deferred from that so I'm not actually going to be doing that until the second semester and, uh, you know, for a few personal reasons. But, uh, you know, don't worry about that. But so basically what I'm looking for now is I just, um, I was bored one day, so I asked my mate if I wanted to go. No, I asked my mate if he would have me going up to his campus with him. So basically, throughout the day what we did was I jumped on a train with him. I met him at the train station. And basically we went up to the train. So we went on the train up to one of the bus stops near near his campus. And uh, train ride was about, the train ride was only about 30 minutes uh, roughly, but if you want to go up to Brisbane on the train, it takes about, it takes about an hour I'd say. But basically we got jumped on the train and I paid for my ticket. Now one of the main, 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 main inconveniences of traveling in public transport is if you don't have this thing called a go card or some sort of card where you can jump on the train, uh, for example, without actually going to the ticket vendor and actually buying the tickets and such, if you can somehow avoid, you know, paying for the tickets like with cash and you've got this some sort of card thing, let's put it that way, that it would make life a lot, a lot, a lot, lot easier. But I've got, I'm very, very fortunate to have uh, parents that are willing to drop me off at places and things like that. And, um, you know, I've got, I can always use my parents' car because I don't actually have my own car. I can, also, I can also just, you know, drive wherever, wherever I want with the car. So I don't actually need to use public transport. And on the whole, public transport is very, very, you know, very, very useful if you don't have your own car and you're not fortunate to, um, you know, have some sort of your own way to get there without actually using public transport. But, you know, through my experiences, public transport, I don't really like using it, to be honest. And, I, you know, if everyone can avoid it, they would. But I'm going to tell you why. Because firstly, on the train, if you don't have this thing called a go-card, basically everyone, first of all, looks at you really weirdly. And second of all, it's a lot more expensive than, you know, paying for public transport without actually having this go-card. It's about half the price um, if you if you actually have the go-card. But basically, what we did was we got to the train station and I went up to t ticket bend and you know I just paid for the ticket and I was it was just a one-way ticket at the end of the day I could have paid for a return ticket that would have been a lot uh, probably cheaper and more effective and stuff but obviously me being a little noob I just play RuneScape all day I don't really know much about real life so uh, you know I could have bought this um, return ticket didn't get told on the, until the, on the way back but basically if I would have got the return ticket it would have been you know maybe, maybe half the price or a little bit, little bit cheaper but that's fine because I only went up for the one day and uh, you know my mate's just kind of scanning his go-kart and these little sensors and things but um, you know so that so that was one with big big pain in the bottom and now you can actually use a go-kart not only on the trains but 
but you can actually use it on the buses as well. So for example, once we jumped on the train, went up to the train station and uh, no, jumped on the train and then for like 40 minutes, like I said before, and then got dropped off at one of the train stations. And then just over the road from the train station, there's actually a bus stop. And at the bus stop, we just waited for maybe 10 minutes or so. And then the bus came. Now, normally, my mate was saying there's there's a couple of buses. One was a 135, and there's a 123, and there's an, I don't know, Gypsy Mongoloidal 7300 um, train, no, bus. But basically, the 123, it kind of, let's put it this way. The 123, you jump on the bus, and you basically go for a massive, massive scenic tour around the <laughs> around the mountains and around the area. Um, it drops, it Probably it goes to Narnia and back and then decides you to drop you off at your destination. Let's put it that way. But, um, you know, we were very, very lucky because the 123 came and then we decided, um, you know, not to jump on that because the 135 was coming next. So we were, we were praying, we are praying, we are praying that the uh, the 135 would actually come because it's, it's known for not actually showing up at all. So we were very, very lucky in that respect because it actually came in the end. Um, uh, so that was very, very lucky. So we jumped on that train uh, on the bus and I kind of got to the got to the dude at the, you know, sitting in the bus, and basically what I did was, I asked if I could pay with cash, and he basically gave me a weird look, you know, basically saying, why don't you have a go-kart or something like that, and he he kind of just, he kind of just waved to me, just told me to get on the bus, um, you know, rather than being an inconvenience, he just said, you can just jump on for free, so I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, why not, but then on the way back, there was, um, uh, so we're basically we're at the university now, and then the bus pulled up. It was also a 135, so we we're very very lucky in that respect. Really, the bus pulled up, and um, you know, same situation happened except I stood there for another five minutes or so because the bus driver kept asking me if I had coins that could pay for the thing because I haven't I had a note in my hand, but the uh, guy wasn't probably very very good at English. Uh, the bus driver, because all he just basically drives around and gets people to swipe their cars over the green things and stuff, but. When I got on the when I got on the bus, basically what I did was I kind of looked at him and then I kind of gave him I went to give him a ten dollar bill and then he asked me if I had coins to pay for it and I was like uh, I was looking through my wallet and he kind of just stared at me and was like do you have coins to pay for it? and I was like no I'm having a look and he just asked me again so I was like uh, no I'm just having a look um, but then it turns out I had so I had enough money to pay for the pay for the bus fare so the kid gave me a ticket. And then I had to get back on the train, so I had to pay for another train ticket. So it all up cost me about fifteen, twenty dollars to get there and back from the university. Now some may argue, you know, it's a pretty good price. Some may argue it's pretty, um, pretty expensive and stuff. But you know, it was for a one day trip, and I got some experience out of it. I sat in his engineering lecture, uh, but that was, you know, that was all good times. But uh, that's basically all I wanted to tell you guys about in this video. And uh, you know, be looking forward to my progress video for 2014, my March progress video for 2014. Sorry, um, if I've made that, I'll leave that on screen or leave it in the description or something like that. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video and watch out for that video. And I'll see you in, in the next video.